frogs are incredibly important to the prairie provinces of Canada, and throughout the area, their population has dropped significantly in recent years. In fact, it has been the biggest decline since the extinction of dinosaurs. 90% of frogs have been wiped out of the prairie provinces. Frogs are extremely important to Canada, and I'm about to tell you why. Frogs live in wetlands, and because they are amphibians, their skin soaks in chemicals from the water before humans do. Sometimes, these chemicals can be poisonous or diseased, and frogs are among the first to suffer the consequences. Frogs are basically a living early warning system for disease and pollution. Also, frogs are one of insects' most severe predators. That keeps the number of bugs under control. But can you imagine if frogs weren't there to prey on bugs? If they were gone? There would be so many bugs everywhere. Also, it's terrible for frogs to be wiped off of the food web. Their predators won't have any, wouldn't have anything to eat. So, why are frogs dying? Let's start with the northern leopard frog. Throughout Canada, they've declined the most. They are extremely picky with where to breed, eat, or call home. Northern leopard frogs require a lot of land. If you were to build a highway or road through their land, that would fragment it. If their habitat is fragmented, there is a great chance the frog will die. Other reasons of frog decline include water poisoning, the introduction of new species like the bullfrog, and disease like the fungus spread by the African clawed frog. Scientists all over Canada are getting scared because of the threat of extinction of frogs. That's why the Vancouver Aquarium is fighting this threat by doing a big project. They have bred millions of baby northern leopard frogs called tadpoles and released them into the wild in the hopes of starting a new thriving community of frogs. Other aquariums are also breeding and releasing frogs into the wild to start new colonies. Other measures of helping frogs include habitat restoration and the scientific goal of establishing five new communities of frogs. So, how can you help? Well, wiping out frog extinction by yourself is going to be a little hard. I recommend fundraising money to donate to professional operations like the Vancouver Aquarium so they can help out faster. Or, if you own a cottage, help by creating an artificial wetland where frogs can live peacefully. Whatever you do, frogs need you, and we need frogs.